Today's video is on incident matrix. So we have to represent the incident matrix for the directed graph. And this topic is from graph theory. So here is the graph seen. So in this graph, first of all, we have to check how many vertices are there and how many edges are there. See, if you see this graph carefully, V1, this is V2, V3, V4, V5. They are five vertices and how many edges are there? So this is E1, E2, E3, E4, E5, E6, E7. They are seven edges. Edges means lines and vertices means dots. So they are five vertices and seven edges. So we have to represent the incident matrix here. So for representing the incident matrix, all the edges should be on the top and here the row wise are the vertices. So V1, V2, V3, V5 here and E2, E7 on the top as columns we have to represent. And now see here, there is a logic here. So first of all, we have to take the inward and outward edges. So for inward edges, see here, for incoming edge, for incoming, for incoming edge, we have to represent with minus 1. And next for outgoing edge for outgoing edge we have to give plus one and next one if there is no collection at all so we have to give zero so this is the simple logic which you have to keep in mind and then so coming to v1 here so v1 has two edges here so one is outgoing and this is also outgoing so for outgoing edges we have to give plus 1. So, E1, I have to give plus 1. And next, E7, I have to give plus 1. So, there are no other edges here. So, for that, I am keeping zeros for the rest of the edges. And next, coming to V2 here. So, V2 has three edges. That is 1, 2, 3. That is E1, E6 and E2. So, for outgoing outgoing edges we have to keep plus one see here from v2 what is outgoing e6 is outgoing so i am keeping plus one so e2 is also outgoing i am keeping plus one and see here e1 is incoming so for incoming edge we have to give minus one so even i have to keep minus one remember and these are the three edges and remaining are all zeros so there are no other edges and next coming to V3 here. So V3 has how many edges incident towards it? 1, 2 and 3. So all the outgoing edges you have to give plus 1 and incoming edges you have to give minus 1. See here from V3 E5 is incoming. So I am giving minus 1 E5. So this is E5 I am giving minus 1. And E6 also it is inwards. E6 also minus 1. And E7 is also towards v3 that is also incoming edge minus and there are only three edges so three representations and remaining are all zeros and next coming to which which vertex v4 if i go with v4 they are one two three four they are four edges incident towards it so here it is outgoing so E5 is outgoing. I am keeping plus 1 for outgoing. And next E2, it is incoming towards V4. So this is an incoming edge. E2 is minus 1. And next this is outgoing. E3 is outgoing. This is plus 1. So this is incoming. E4 is incoming. Therefore, I am giving minus 1. See here, it's very clear. Minus 1, 1, minus 1, 1. And remaining, there are no edges. And these are zeros. And next coming to this one V5. So if I give V5 here. So V5 has only two edges. That is E3 and E4. So if E3 is incoming. So incoming word edge we have to give minus 1. So E3 is an incoming vertex edge. That is minus 1. And next E4 is outgoing. So E4 we have to represent with plus 1. And there are no other edges we have to give zeros for the rest of the edges and this is how we have to represent it is very simple logic for all the outgoing edges we have to give plus one and for all the incoming edges we have to give minus one and if there is no connection with the other edges you have to represent it with zero and this is the example and there is another example so it will be very clear for you so please do follow and uh, 
represent this incident matrix and here is the graph and first of all when you see the graph we have to count how many vertices are there so this is v1 v2 and here it is v3 v4 and this is v5 so this one and see this one is v5 so total v1 v2 v3 v4 and v5 total five vertices are there and how many edges are there e1 e2 e3 e4 e5 e6 e7 e8 they are total eight edges so in order to represent the incident matrix we have to keep all the edges on the top of the matrix and v1 v2 v3 v4 v5 as the row matrix as the row representation and this is the column representation so this is the procedure which you have to follow and there is one logic here for all the incoming edges so it is a directed graph for all the incoming so incoming edges so what we have to give minus 1 for outgoing edges for outgoing edges so we have to represent with plus 1 so this simple logic which you have to follow so this is vertex v1 so i am going with vertex v1 so vertex v1 has three edges that is e1 e3 and e2 so e1 is outgoing so i have to give plus one for e1 so for e1 it is plus one so e3 is towards inward so this is an inward edge e3 so i have to give minus one for this and this is outgoing e2 is minus one so this is one so this is one one minus one these are the three edges which are connected with v1 so remaining are all zeros one two three four and five and total eight edges and next going with v2 so v2 has three edges incident towards it that the one is e6 e4 and e1 so e1 is inverts so for incoming edge we have to give minus 1 for e1 this is minus 1 and next for v5 e6 it is an outgoing e6 it is outgoing 1 and next e4 is also outgoing this is 1 so only they are three edges incident towards v2 and remaining are all zeros 1 2 3 4 and 5 total 8 edges and next we have to go with v3 so v3 has only two edges so one is e2 and one is e5 so e2 it is inverts in incoming edge so e2 i have to represent with minus one e2 and next e5 it is outgoing i have to give plus one to this and remaining are all zeros one two three four five and six so six plus two that is total eight edges and next coming to v4 here is v4 so v4 has one two three four and five five edges so this is e7 so first of all e7 is outwards so for e7 so this is an outward edge and therefore i'm representing plus one so this is e4 incoming so for incoming edge i have to give minus one so this is e3 this is outgoing so i have to give plus one and next e5 so this is incoming towards v4 so this is e5 i have to give minus one and e7 e4 e4 it is also inverts e8 so this one is e8 so from v4 it is outwards or uh, i am giving plus one so one two three four five remaining are all zeros so these are the zeros and next one going to e v5 so vertex 5 so it has only two edges so one is incoming e6 is incoming so e6 incoming this is minus one and next this is also incoming so e7 is also incoming so there are no other edges one two three four five six seven and this is eight and this is how we have to represent the incident matrix so for all the incoming edges keep minus one for all the outgoing edges keep plus one and if there is no connection with any other uh, remaining edges you have to keep zero and this is how we have to make an incident matrix and hope you all guys understand thank you for watching and following this video and if you really like please pass it on to as many friends as you can and support this channel subscribe to this channel and you know, watch the playlist and so many videos will be available for which will be very helpful for your preparation and thank you so much